welcome back to part three of Top Rope Reality. Three. Just enjoyed it. One, two, three. That joke is over. I know. I it what. didn't go over very well, did it? It didn't. Once I did it the first week. First week. First and time. I just, like, like, stole it. And that's, yes. Didn't do too well. well. Let's go on and start talking about the sacrifice here and uh, finish up oh, on the sacrifice. This, this next match. Horrible. Horrible. All right. It is Willow teaming up with Kurt Angle. So Jeff Hardy and Kurt Angle. Jeff Hardy Kurt Angle. WWE. Taking on former WWE superstar. Now known <laughs> as EC3. They couldn't get all four of them to be former WWE. They could. <laughs> this is Ethan Carter. This guy's too short for me. That would be sad, ain't it? Even with Ray around. Rockstar Spud. He's a tiny guy. He's tiny. Well, they love him. They do love him in TNA. I mean, he's got a decent character. He's pretty funny. So it works. Rockstar, but, Rockstar Potato. That's right, Rockstar Potato and EC3 taking on Willow and Angle. Here is my direction on this. I believe that unless you want those two young guys to look like jobbers, that they and they've been looking kind of weak throughout the weeks. That's why I believe that EC3 and Spud will win because Angle and Willow have really been getting the upper hand on the both of them. They need to, I mean, EC3 has beat Sting, has beat Angle, only, I mean, he injured him, of course. Suppose I think he was already injured, but anyway. So, fight back for that. so they both fought back. I mean, Willow and Angle have been fighting back on them. Really been getting, you know, attacking them and, and beating down the young guys. I think they should win. The young guys should win. So that. you're picking EC3 and yep. and, well, and, well, and and Spud and potato. potato Man, Mr. Potato Head. That's right. Okay, well I'm going with the the veterans. The Wiley Veterans. The former world champions. I'm going with Jeff Hardy and uh, Kurt Angle. So, next. Next is... Um, hey, no, there's nothing I need to say, you know. Next is the... Why would they let Jeff Hardy's new character lose? Didn't Jeff Hardy's character, new character come back and win? Oh, Lord. Actually, no. He didn't win the match. His first match back, he lost by disqualification because he attacked... His first match back was in the steel cage... With MVP, he was part of MVP's team. But I don't know if he got the pin on that because uh, we don't watch Pepper uh, But his first match on Impact, he lost he to Rockstar Spud by disqualification because he attacked him with okay, a freaking umbrella. He's already lost him already. Okay. That makes yeah. Fun. yeah. So it makes it a little bit better. Willow and uh, Angle. Okay. We'll next. see. Next is the TNA title match. Daniel Bryan, I mean, Eric Young. I'm so sorry, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Eric Young, the, the other guy. bearded man. The other bearded man. Taking on, he's fishing off the hook. Oh, I think I got a biggie. I got a biggie. Okay. He's, he's got a big E. What? No, a big E. Oh. Not big E length. Big E. I was like, what? He's in TNA? I got a bass. That's Ezekiel Jackson. Never mind. Okay. Yes. One of them guys is back. Oh, He'll right. be big Z when he comes to TNA. That's right. Like Tom Zink. That's sad. Anyway. Z-Man. The Z-Man. Okay. All right. So Eric Young, the newly won championship, taking on... Magnus, the oh, former Mag champion. Magnus has got to get his rematch. So. He's, got, he's getting his rematch here. Out, it, I think and it out of the way. So no, Magnus will be on to something else. I think Magnus is going to lose. And, and they're just going to... Abyss. Hell yeah. I mean, Abyss should probably come in and interfere and help Eric Young win. Or inadvertently help Eric Young win. Faith. I don't know. I guess it's the face. Faith. What it's is every it? other day. It changes, but... And the funny thing about it, too. I don't know if Magnus will move on. They may put Abyss in there and make it a triple threat because Abyss and Eric Young still have issues. This will be it for Magnus. You Magnus will so? get his one and done and be done. He will move on to uh, Abyss, and Eric Young will have another challenger. I still think a bit, uh, Magnus needs to come back around because they really... Did, I don't like his, his, his title run. run. Nobody... I didn't like his title run. Well, call Dixie Carter. I will. Tell me about Just because I have her last name doesn't mean I'm related to her, by the way. I'm not bringing that up. But, uh, so, so what are you going with? I'm going with Eric Young. You're going with Eric Young, yes. I'm because of Abyss. He just won the title. Why would he lose it this quick? Well, it is TNA. No. I've read where they said they want to push him. They really push him stop because being a, of his stop show. Stop being a comic Because they're trying gimmick. to get publicity off his show. That means, to me, that this show does better than TNA. 
first. They're put, that means he's going to be at the show. He's going to be fishing with the towel around his waist. It, it wasn't surprising. That makes you like an idiot then. It does. But you can't I be. Let's go to the comic part, part and then he's going to be on the show wearing his little Speedos wearing the title. Right. Belt, he's still going to be comedic because that's the whole show. He's a comedy act fishing. It's funny. The show is actually good. It's better than TNA's product. And that's why they're putting the title on him to get the publicity off of that show. Because that show does better than TNA. So, moving on from there is going to be... You're taking Daniel Bryan. I mean, uh, uh, Eric geez. Young. Gosh! Eric Young. Gosh! Jeez Louise. Just, I mean, that's like Silverdome, Superdome. Just can't figure it out. Just, I know. It's just so close. It's so close. You know, the names are just so similar. So, yeah. So I'm going. I'm going Eric young. young, you're going young too. And then you we, so we split up you think, on. You think we'll Abyss will be in there though? You think Abyss will run in, interfere? You think? I, I honestly believe he will. Yeah, Just yeah. set up for their match more. Yeah, him and Magnus, yeah. I mean, how much more anger can you get of Magnus being pissed off at Abyss? Does he interfere? Of course, when he comes a face, then he'll then the TV title will reappear. Will reappear, and, reappear probably. And there'll so. be no talk of him not being part of the company and being champion. And you're like, what? Right, because right now, did he did he have the match with Magnus yet to get his uh, contract back? I don't think so. We don't keep over. We need to. Maybe it'll come in the coming weeks. I don't know. Maybe it'll be at the so. next pay per view or live on on the TV. You don't have to pay for it. Yeah, maybe. Besides your cable bill, but you know, whatever. So we're going to move on from there to the Undertaker's Top 20 Feuds. Yes. I like it. I like the list. With the network not having a Top 10 this week because of the Ultra Warrior Week, we found a Top 20 Undertaker's Greatest Feuds, and uh, we're going to do that. So I think they did pretty well with it. We'll see. Yeah. This is the WWE, though, so... It is. Sometimes they like, eh, and then sometimes they like, what in the world are they thinking? That's true. So, number 20. Do you know when they're down here like this? You're number like, 20. What are they, TNA? That is, sometimes, sometimes. Number 20 is the man who just passed away. Yeah. The ultimate warrior. The ultimate warrior. The man right there. Right here. That guy. Not me. Not this you. Let me back up. This guy. That guy. The ultimate warrior. Uh, they did a pretty interesting feud. Yeah. They got a lot out of that. Yes. And uh, from there we had number 19, Kamala, the Ugandan giant. Ah! Kamala. Yeah. Couldn't do anything else really, just Kamala. Well, mine would be better. <laughs> so anyway, that's why this is blocking it. So, number 18 is one of the men he beat. Big Daddy. In his uh, <laughs> WrestleMania streak. Big Daddy Cool. Big Daddy Cool. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> number 17 is a man that... Did great recently. once. Once he broke away from a tag team, yes. Once he, he broke did away from a tag team, he did a lot better. But he recently passed as well. Is King Mabel, yes, which was formerly of Men on a Mission, yes, better known as Viscera and Big Daddy V. I like Big Daddy V. I like that character the best. Okay. Keep on. Number sixteen, the big slut. I mean, the big show. That guy, the right. big show, who keeps change as much as Abyss. He'll yeah, face, he'll, he'll face, face every now and then. Yeah, exactly. Number 15, one of my all-time favorites. All-time favorites. And he's also one of the losers in the WrestleMania streak. Jake yes. the Snake Roberts. Very good feud. A little high, though. I think Jake should be a little closer. All right. Number 14, the man that got Kane to bury Undertaker alive so he could get rid of the biker gimmick <laughs> and get the Undertaker back. <laughs> Mr. McMahon. That was a good Survivor Series paper, yeah. Mr. Grapefruits. That's right. <laughs> Number 13, another another lost legend, Yokozuna. They had a great feud. Yokozuna, I mean, really could work with anybody yeah, they, and do great matches. He had, that, big, had that big casket. Yeah, he had to. Number 12 is the man who recently just came back. Bootista. Bootista. Which, hey, he did say that he told them that they should have made him a heel right when he came in. He was right. Number 11. People hate you. Yeah. Exactly. Number 11 was the Million Dollar Corporation. Crap over your crap over the fan for you. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Million Dollar Corporation is in the top 20 there. Right there in the middle. Number 11. Yeah, that's the whole corpor corporation. Huh? whole corporation. DBIC, I guess, Kama, <laughs> and King Kong Bundy, Tanaka, I almost said Tonka. Wow. And the whole corporation. The whole okay. corporation. 
And in the top ten here. Top, top ten. Top ten of the countdown of the greatest feud slash rivals. Number ten is the Straight Edge Superstar. I see that's a little high. CM Punk, you should have been better? Think you should have been better? I think you should have been up toward more toward 20. Really? All right. So number 10 was CM I mean, Punk. Had, you mean another WrestleMania, guy. Another the WrestleMania thing, yeah, that was, but then before was, been, so. They did have a couple of feuds. Yes, they had but two nothing, feuds, yes. you know. And he was one of the guys that lost at WrestleMania. In the, in yes, the, it uh, is. And then number nine is another man that lost at WrestleMania. at WrestleMania to Undertaker and lost the world title to him. The rated R superstar. We went from we went from straight edge to edge. Yeah. That's weird. Alright, so number nine is Edge. Number eight is the immortal Hulk Hogan. Brother, 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 brother. We're gonna get your brother. Brother, brothers, brother, brother, brother. That's right, everybody's brother. Brother? Brother. Okay. Number seven, the man. Yeah, now, he, is, he is the man. Now, maybe this list would change after WrestleMania. It should this, change. This is the man. Okay, well, never mind. Hope. Oh, we'll we're change it. We're, we're moving him to number one. Oh. So we're going to put number one at number seven. All right, so we're going to change it up. Number seven is going to be the other brother of destruction. The other brother, 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 brother. brother. So Kane. we go from brother to brother. To brother, brother, Kane. Brother, brother, Kane. Brother, Kane. Brother, Kane. One spell with C, then it changed to a K. They yes. can't make a line up. They were both Kanes, weren't they? Kane, the Undertaker, and Kane. Yeah, I know. So Kane is going to be our new number seven. Is our daddy and mama drunk? You're Kane and you're Kane. One of only, not twins. One of only, what, three people that lost to Undertaker twice. Yes. At WrestleMania. Number six is another man that lost him at WrestleMania. Is Randy Orton, the Viper, the Viper. Legend Killer. Yes. yes. Number five is the man that not that lost the only man to say that he lost at WrestleMania to the Undertaker not once, not twice, but three times. And he lost Undertaker, but he buries other people. That's right. Triple H. <laughs> Where's that shovel? That's right. <laughs> Number four, the greatest superstars of all time. Yeah, he should be a little closer. Number four is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone. Sorry. All right, you got a little Jr. going there. there. Number three. Uh, I mean, I, I agree yeah. with some of these right here. Hey, you like this guy, you just don't like his actual person. He is yeah. mankind, which I love. The boiler, boiler room brawls. I can't talk. I wish they had him back. That would be great. They, they had some nothing. classic matches. You can't say they did. They did. It's a classic matches. Mankind's number three. Number two. Mr. WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania, who lost to Undertaker not once but twice and retired because of Undertaker. Yeah. Shawn Michaels. And, has, and actually stayed away. He has. This time. He retired like six other times, but it's okay. He lost but a But this time, he really, he's really gone. So. He got beat up by some sailors. I don't know. It was weird. And in our list, the new. The new number one is the man that is the one. <laughs> In 21 and 1. Yes. The man who defeated the streak. The man who destroyed The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Yes. Brock Lesnar. That's your Paul Heyman. Tried. I tried. Confetti. Woo! Woo! There it is. For Brock Lesnar. Okay. Yes. Now what have we got left? Oh, we have a little bit just of Ring of Honor news. For, hey, some of these fans really love it. One person in particular loves Ring of Honor news. Yes. Well, we've got some big ones. Of course, well, I haven't seen, seen a video from him either. So No. The challenge has not been accepted, apparently. No. So, so we have uh, a big, big Ring of Honor news right here. Ring of Honor will be debuting June the 22nd. Live on pay per view, not taped, and then later on on internet pay per view. Oh, really? Pay per view? Real pay per view, just like TNA and WWE does it live on a Sunday. Wow. Pay per view. And live on pay per view, the event will be called. Hmm. Ring of Honor Live. Nope. Uh, Ring of Honor Kevin Steen gets the title back. Nope. Ring of Honor The Best of the Briscoe Brothers. It'll be a good show. No. Ring of Honor, we got AJ Styles and Chris Hero. They did good with getting both of them. Okay. But they might, they, we, whoa, almost gave it away there. <laughs> ah, with the name, the name might give it away. June 22nd, live on pay-per-view. The event will be called Best in the World. Best in the World? Best in the World. I thought it was CM Punk's trademark thing. Uh, but if you got him signed under contract... Yeah, but he's, he's not done. He's not done to July, though. Hey, he might have already worked out a deal. He might have 
might they have. might just be putting a graphic up there. What if the end of the show? How awesome would that be? At the end of a title match, all of a sudden you hear CM Punk's music. That would get people or a talking. Or graphic up on the screen. That would get people talking. I'm telling you, best in the world. It's just so convenient that the first pay- I know, the first all... live pay per view they ever do, and it's called Best in the World. So you can't go back and find out. You have to. We have to watch it to find out what happens. Yes. Interesting. That. Should be interesting. It will be interesting, but that is it for our segment for number part three. three. Segment and three so when is. we come back in just a moment for part number four, we are going to be going over our indie news, and we've got quite a section. It will be all about indie news in segment four. Oh, yes. It'll be a good one. We'll be back, folks, for part four right after this. <laughs> 